So last week I was clearing out some wood from the woodshed at work and I found this frame. I really like this frame and I think this would look ace as a postcard display holder at the Move Marketplace. So let's make that happen. I have here a stack of old tongue groove wall panelling. You know the deal. It's a slots together nice and simple like that. What my plan is, is to get the tongue and groove in the back to use as a backdrop for it and then have a nice old string zigzag method going down it on tiny tiny little wooden paper clips to hold the postcards in place. I think it's going to look ace. First job I've had to do is roughly mark out out of these bits of excess um, tongue and groove if I have enough to fill the frame I do have enough to fill the frame so next job is staining them Here, the boards coming together you can see the different uh, tones we're getting all I've done is buy simple tester pots from the shop and I'm massively watering down the tester pots so all the paint is doing really is picking up the grain of whatever the uh, board it, it's on you'll notice with most of these boards because they're so cheap they have a good side and a bad side this is the bad side that's the good side and uh, the bad side has got loads of sore scuff marks where they haven't bothered to finish it off nicely that's exactly what we want for this project we've reached halfway in the painting and staining so we're just going to throw people off course a little bit we've taken all these boards here darker so we're going to send this one nice and bright and light I've bought a uh, what is this a spring sage tester to go with this one see how this goes I'll just screw them in place. That'll actually help firm up the frame. The frame looks lovely, but it's in a bit of a rickety state. Boarding it out with these is actually going to strengthen the frame. <laughs> So as with all things that are made out of scraps or recycled material, uh, having just put this in the board in the frame here, you see some have come up a bit short, but they're still within the tolerance of the frame itself. So it doesn't matter, no one will ever know unless they watch this video. Uh, so this is the unstained side. Are you ready? Shall we look? Look at that. That is cool, isn't it? So my question now for the old frame is, it was just an old frame I found lying around in a woodshed. It's got loads and loads of horrible gaffs and scratches on it. Do I stain the, the frame itself and just take it down a tone? I think I might just really water down and then wax the whole thing and put a zigzag string in just stain the frame to bring it down a touch so it's slightly less red and it will match him better with the backboard um, while I'm waiting for it to dry I'm gonna pinch some of my uh, white garden string just that really nice stuff and uh, and zigzag a line across it cut it so that by the time that's dry we're ready to put the hooks in and get the string on there So there it is, string added through the eyelets, zigzagging backwards and forwards to display the postcards, or maybe their scripture memory cards, or maybe their wedding table setting placeholder cards, maybe their whatever they need to be for your job. 
um, but the little tiny paper clips showing they're just holding the things in place. Uh, one of the best bits about this job for me is um, 60 of these paper clips, 60 of them, one pound. Uh, the boards reclaimed, the frame reclaimed. Uh, all I needed to buy was the fixings, I had the wax already, and the paper clips. Genius! What a great thing to get almost entirely recycled. So uh, there you go, finished article. If you like the video, why not go ahead and subscribe? It's all free. Um, I make these videos every Thursday on YouTube and every Saturday on Facebook. Hopefully, I'll see you again soon. Bye.